All right, here we have our FPV drone. It looks a little different than when you last saw it. For one, it has a uh, GoPro on top, but this is a Hero Bones 10. It's Hero Bones 10. And the reason why we have the Hero Bones 10 is because of its lightweightness. GoPro is like 200 and some grams, and this is a fraction of the weight. I do not wish to add any further weight onto here. I will have all the weights in the description below and what the overall weight this has become compared to a stock DJI. I have also added the adapters as well as these props. Again, that will be in the description below as to what these props are. First flight with it. This connector wire comes from the battery. The, um, pads in the back and then the wire runs up along the side here and then comes out the top here. This is the second, not the original cover. So if I ever want to go back to the original, I just put the original cover on. Little XT30 here plugs directly into the camera. I never liked these little pigtails out the back or any modification what's required whatsoever. Just small wires come up here and connect to the hero bones. So in the following footage we're going to see how this works out. So the way that you do this is you start it up. Now what we're going to do is turn on single press and then we're going to press the record button it has to have slow rhythmic pulses or beeps well not audible beeps but visible flashing so now i know that the camera or hero bones 10 is recording so you don't hear the audible beeps you just have to look at the visual cues All right.
bring it over here. Everything still record. Yep, everything is here. It's nice to have us back with you, with us. So it doesn't seem to suffer too much in the battery time. I'm going to have. Uh, we'll look at the data and we'll see the flight time. See if it's uh, in any way significantly reduced. I know that a lot of people carry GoPros on here. Uh, but I am carrying something lighter and so hopefully that'll work. The props seem to work well. Um, I have no complaints whatsoever on that. So that's that's really good. Uh, it seems to cruise a whole lot better. Uh, a lot smoother, a lot less having to, a lot more responsive. Touch the motors, feel them. Cool as a cucumber. Now before we turn this off, we need to make sure is that we stop the recording. If we do not stop the recording, then the footage will be lost. So that's all there really is to it. You just make sure that you stop the recording on here before you disconnect the power or you will lose your footage. Just make sure you press the stop and then the footage is retained and then you can go ahead and turn off your battery and change it out we felt the motors they're not even warm they're cool as a cucumber what you want to make sure is that whatever props you put on here that it doesn't overtax the motors and these do not appear to have done so um, due to the fact that the motors are not warm. If they're warm, if they're hot, then they are overworked. And that is not what you want. It requires more battery, more strain on the electronics, and overall shortens the life of your uh, motors or other of ESC and all those good parts. So you always want to make sure that your war motors are at the very, if they're warm, that's fine. But these are actually cool to the touch. So that's even better. I think I'll be keeping with this setup and doing more flights with it in manual mode. Okay, my final thoughts concerning this setup is that it is vastly better than the original one. With these props, it uh, takes the load or the additional weight of the GoPro and the props and their adapters like it's nothing. Uh, when it was stock props, the thing felt sluggish. Again, the rates and tune, well, the rates were the same on both tests. And with these uh, props in this setup, it definitely uh, is a lot more agile. Not to say it is anywhere near an agile as a regular FPV drone, but far more than it was. And uh, it also has longer flight times than your average uh, FPV drone would be but also a lot shorter flight times compared to if you had this in uh, normal or sport mode so bear that in mind otherwise it's uh, it's a lot of fun it goes a lot faster and you can do a lot more uh, moves with it in manual mode furthermore I also noticed that uh, the twitchiness when returning the sticks to the center is gone in manual mode. The only time you'll see that is uh, when you're in normal or sport mode. Otherwise, uh, that's is very smooth otherwise. So I think it's, I highly recommend this setup. I will have the uh, parts in the description below. I did think about uh, adding the arms to the side. Uh, and that, I'm sure, will assist in your crash protection to some extent, so I've heard. I've never crashed one of these, but uh, I went ahead and added those as pictures will illustrate. But I will show and share the details of the additional weight in the description below. And it just wasn't really worth adding another 120 grams onto the, whatever the weight of the arms were, uh, to the overall weight, uh, additional weight on it. So. I want to go, I went ahead and removed those and just keeping with this setup here uh, 
and since I'm not flying in among trees and stuff like that, um, the whole trick of this is to keep it as lightweight as possible. And I believe that this setup here, again, confirmed in the description below, is only 120 grams heavier than the original stock. And it doesn't seem to uh, detriment it uh, to speak of. And uh, like I said, I'll have all everything in the description below. Uh, the comparisons and everything are on the screen, however it is. So, au revoir. Hope you enjoy it. I certainly am.